We usually assume that larger screen widths will be wide and smaller screen widths will be tall, but this isn't necessarily true. A lot of desktops have rotating monitors that can be really tall. Most phones can be rotated to be really short. So instead of basing things off screen width, we need to base it off aspect ratio. When the aspect ratio of our screen is tall, we have one lockup. When it's more square, another lockup. And when it's more wide, yet another lockup. And we can do this entirely without JavaScript so that the different aspect ratios of our screen affect our design. This can be useful in many cases, things like positioning a hero background image or anywhere we would typically adjust things across screen width, we can do it with aspect ratio. So let's get started. So we want these characters to overlap the text and this image has a square aspect ratio. It has a max width of 100% so it doesn't overflow, but then we'll set the width of this using VH so that the width of the image scales based on the browser height. I want this character to overlap the bottom of the L and what we'll notice on shorter screen heights is it's not staying in the right place. That's because the image is scaling with browser height, but the text is scaling with browser width. So what we can do to fix that is we'll go ahead and increase this image until it fills the browser height. Somewhere around 97VH works in this case. And I'll switch this over to custom. I'll use a calc. So I'll set that image to being full height, so 97VH. But then I'll subtract from that a viewport width value that represents the height of the text. And if we just keep increasing this till it lines up in the right place, and now that's right there where I want it. So now if I go ahead and bring this browser height in a little bit, what we should notice is we'll actually uh, keep that image in the right place for the most part on through. Now this image is getting to be a little bit too small around here. So what we can do is give it a minimum width using viewport width. I'll say 25 VW. And that means this image is going to scale with browser height all the way down until it reaches its minimum width and it'll just stop shrinking and it'll start to overlap our absolute text like so. Now we do want to check out more of the taller screens. So when we reach more of a tall screen size, the image reaches its max width and it starts shrinking down. And at that point it's pulling away from the text. So we wanna make the text taller. Now, one way we can do this is I've gone ahead and wrapped the OW letters in a span. So I can select the heading and switch it to a flex direction of vertical. So they stack under each other and the span, I'll give it some margin left of auto to push it to the other side so that when I'm ready, all I have to do is switch the text to a display of flex and it'll just all be positioned in the right place. Now we want this to happen based on the size of the entire hero section. So on the hero section, I'm giving it a custom property of container dash type and a value of inline dash size. And with that set, what we'll do is we'll open up our embed here and we'll say at container. So when the width of the entire hero section is smaller than 100 VH, so um, the full height of the screen. At that case, we'll go ahead and take the hero title and we'll give it a display of flex. And so if we go ahead and save that, by default, the hero section is much wider than the screen height. But whenever we reach more of a square aspect ratio, where the width of the hero section uh, matches the height of the screen, the text stacks under each other. Now at that point, we also want the image to be a lot shorter. So to do that, we can go back over to our image and this uh, first part or this viewport width part is where we're accounting for the height of the text. That's the only part we need to change. We don't need to change the uh, VH value at all. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add kind of a variable in here and I'll just create a variable called something like text height. It doesn't have to be in the variable panel. And because I'm not defining a value initially, I'll just let it fall back to 17 viewport width when nothing's defined on that variable. So if we go ahead and do that, it should just work exactly like before, but now we can apply a value whenever we want to text height and it'll override the 17 viewport width. So if we come back over to our embed and we decide to go ahead and grab that hero, I called it visual wrap, that's the image. We want to um, go ahead and we'll set that text height variable to a larger number. I'll say something like 48 viewport width. 
And so if we go ahead and save that and we check out when this is wrapping, uh, that is much better there. It may be a little too much, so I'll back that down a bit. Let's try 44. And yep, that's wrapping pretty well there. Um, so what's good about this, because we're listening for aspect ratio, is the image is all in the right place here. But as we start to bring our screen height in, even on a really small mobile screen width, um, we'll notice that it's actually eventually going to go back to the default size we have there, just based on the aspect ratio of the screen. So that's working great. Now, one other thing is on really small screens, the text is pulling away still, and we could just leave it like that if we want. In this case, though, I don't mind having the image come up um, above the text. So to do that, I would need to give this image some bottom margin of auto and some top margin using viewport width to kind of just push it down like so. And so what I'll do is I'll open up the embed and we'll go ahead and copy this container query. We'll say when the width is smaller than 70 VH, um, let's go ahead and increase the font size of the title, first of all. So we'll say font size is going to be something like uh, 50 viewport width on that heading. So if we save that, that is going to be much larger. It looks good there. And then for the visual, we're not using this text height variable anymore. Um, we're going to give it some margin bottom and we'll say auto. And so if we save that, that pushes it up to the top. And then for its margin top, we'll go ahead and say something is going to be like, uh, we'll try 50 viewport width for now. Let's just see what it looks like. Um, so we can increase that a little bit. Let's try 60. Um, we'll go 68. Let's see what that does. And that, that seems to be aligning in a good place, at least for, for now. Um, so that is looking good. So what that should mean is the screen is really tall here. So we get the taller letters, we get the, the characters up towards the top. And once the screen gets more squarish, we get this next orientation. And once it gets more wide, we get the next orientation again. And it's all based on the aspect ratio of our screen. So it will work the same way regardless of how wide uh, the screen is. So that's an overview of how to set up this kind of layout. I'll leave a link to the clonable in the description below.